Hi, everybody. Uh, hey, it's been interesting week for weather, huh? But we made it. It's one of the nice things about Zoom. You don't have to worry about whether you can manage to get there. At least, Jim, I know you, you need some help from the next generation. And my grandson was born in a time when the phones were not the thing you hung on the wall, um, but cell phones. And he's never known a world without a computer and the internet. So yeah, I completely get it. Uh, I'd like to start with recognizing Chloe. Could you spotlight Chloe for a moment along with me? There. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us, Chloe. I, um, I, I wanted to thank you for, well, in generally how you have conducted your representation of people in, in Lincoln County and in the House District before that in a way that is really centered on people. And uh, I think one of the really notable examples of that is that when the pandemic struck, you restructured all of your volunteer effort and motivated people to step forward and help their neighbors by making phone calls and find out who had what they needed and who needed some help. And then you worked to make the connections between people who could meet those needs and the people who needed them. And, uh, and that's not something that everybody does. Um, so we, we have some great People that are represented in Lincoln County, I think you are a wonderful example of that people-centered rather than power-centered view of representation of the people. Um, and you carry it into various aspects of, of what you did. The other thing that sticks in mind for me, and, and not all representatives or senators do that either, um, but you faithfully did hold coffee with Chloe and it was the, the name of yours, office hours, for anybody in the district to come in and talk with you about help they need or an idea they have or whatever's on their mind. And I think you know, being accessible and putting yourself out there in that way too, uh, I really appreciate. So thank you very much, Chloe, for that. That's super kind. Thank you so much, Chris. Nothing would be possible without the Lincoln County Dem. So all the gratitude and more goes back to all of you. Well, um, we have a few other people who want to say a few words. And I think I'll take the background. And just like that, I pop up. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Um, I had the honor of running with you for the first time um, in different districts, but we both were um, starting out. And so we spent a lot of time together, um, both in that first session, uh, pre-pandemic when we were actually there and in person, I think I sat, I sat in the back row and you were in front of me um, a couple of seats over and we had some interesting times there um, and we did some good work. So I will always appreciate your passion um, your commitment um, and your willingness to to give up a lot um, to to do public service, which um, isn't for everybody. Um, but you made a huge difference. Um, you're still making a huge difference, and I don't think this time in the legislature will be the last we ever hear of you because I know that you'll continue to do great things, and I look forward to working with you in the future. So thank you for all you gave and all that you have done. Aww. Thank you, Holly. You have always been and will always be my idol. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear. And up pops Lydia. <laughs> hey, Chloe. Hi, everyone. It's great to uh, be together, even if it's remotely. Um, I just want to... We'll first say thank you, Chloe, um, but just tell 
all of you a little bit about my experience working with Chloe because uh, last year I had the huge privilege of joining her work on expanding the Good Samaritan Bill in the state of Maine. And the work of this policy um, it, it is saving lives. It's, I mean, it's a remarkable piece of legislation. Um, but I'm not, I don't really want to focus on that. What I really wanted to say is, Chloe, just in our time working together, the way that you brought me in and welcomed me and led and facilitated a group of people from all different backgrounds who had the shared purpose. Um, I watched the way people turned to you for the skills that you shared with the group and for the optimism and excitement and willingness to work really hard for something that you believed in. And when leadership, when folks all around us said, this will never happen and you won't ever accomplish what you're asking for, um, Chloe didn't give up and she, uh, you just kept working and you kept inspiring folks to keep working for it. And it happened. And I feel like that, um, uh, that one time I had with you, uh, just exemplifies all of the work that you have brought to the legislature and that you bring to the community and will continue to bring to everything that you do because, uh, it is it is the drawing in and the welcoming people with the optimism and excitement and dedication to the work that uh, is saving lives in this example and is transforming our community. And I think that uh, I can speak for all of us in the greater community that I am so grateful to have had this time with you in this role and look forward to all of the work we get to do with you in the future. So thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Lydia. I hope you know that none of that would have ever happened without you. It was, it was all you. <laughs> so please uh, join me in uh, a round of applause and thanks for Chloe Maximin and her service to Lincoln County. Can we take everybody off mute so that Chloe can hear? Sure. The applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All it's right. all because of you. Yeah.